Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm Joel F. Gardner, one of the stars and the mind behind the death of Gary Goldwater. Now I know some of you out there are probably thinking, hey, don't I recognize that guy from that awesome web series, Pure Ownage? What's up, I'm Doug! Kyle, what's up, man? I haven't seen you since last time. How's it going? But I'm still shooting. I'm still getting the headshots. It's like boom, headshot, boom, headshot, boom, headshot. Or maybe some of you recognize me from the Canadian TV series, Pure Ownage. <laughs> Cardboard Warfare 2. That's what I recognize you from. Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Clinton Jones, and I run the Punisher channel on YouTube. So on top of that stuff, I've also done work for Freddie and Brandon on the Freddie W channel. As well as Sam and Nico for the Corridor Digital channel. Clint, there's an alien on your head. Wait, 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 you, you mean on my head? Well, hey, we can't forget about Owen Rogers either, the other star of the death of Gary Goldwater. Over the years, he's produced and starred in many of his own web series, including Balloon Shop. This here is Detective Kowalski. I'm Detective LaRue. He's going to be asking you a few questions. You think you're a real tough guy? Bad <laughs> oh. New Prime. Foxes can't throw snails. They don't have opposable thumbs. Fine. Just admit there's a chance. Quit dipping your toes in my mind butter touch. And the most recently released, Pop Rocket. This guy. This guy. <laughs> this guy's name is Diglett Wand Jr. So back in 2008, during the filming of Pure Ownage, I spent my nights in my Toronto apartment writing a film called Hitman. It was a full-length feature about two characters that get themselves into trouble with a local loan shark, and in order to settle their debt, they are charged with the task of taking out one of his associates. Unfortunately, their idea that the scenario that they found themselves in is like something out of Pulp Fiction greatly skews their judgment, and they quickly find out that being a hitman is a lot different than it's made out to be in the movies, as they find it difficult not only to dispose of a body, but to dispose of the right body. Since then, like every good script, it has gone through numerous rewrites and almost as many attempts at being made, but the harsh reality quickly set in that making a full-length feature film on little to no budget is nearly impossible, so it's sat on the shelf for the past two years. That is, till shortly after the filming of Cardboard Warfare 2. We all had such a blast making that movie that it was no question that we needed to work together again. We just needed the right project to work on. So that's when I decided to go back and revisit the Hitman script, and came up with the idea to take a particular scene out of the film and rework it so that it was able to stand out on its own as an incredibly intriguing short film that would leave the viewer wanting more. Out of that came the death of Gary Goldwater, an intense 20 minute dark comedy full of mystery, action, and will have you on the floor laughing. Now the idea is to take the death of Gary Goldwater and use it as a marketing tool for a future film or series based on the characters. However, it still needs to be made and it's going to take a small budget in order to do this. So this is your opportunity to be a part of the series right from the start. Please take a look at our Indiegogo page. There is where you can find a list of perks that you will receive by helping us out. We want to thank you all for taking your time to watch this video. We can't tell you how incredibly excited we are for getting this project off the ground, which cannot happen without all of you out there. So once again, thank you so much. We love you all. So the death of Gary Goldwater. Oh, mosquitoes, dude.